What's going on guys, Storm6678 here, back with another tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you guys part one of my 3D motion tracking tutorial. Um, so this tutorial we're going to go the, over the very, 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 very basics of um, essentially what you need to do to um, motion track and have like sexy 3d text so I have my scene right here okay I just drag and drop that into my project folder on the side you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag that down and this is gonna create a new composition all right now the biggest thing that people don't know is that you want to film your scene like this is this is an old scene that I have so it's a little bit fast but you want to film your scene slow when you film your scene slow It'll get, help you give the best um, motion tracking points, and uh, it'll prevent you from having uh, frame drops. All right, so all I'm doing right now, I'm cutting the scene by dragging this and then holding shift to go to the cursor. So I don't want this scene to be too long, so we'll go here to here, like four seconds. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to drag this, hold shift. Same thing with this one, hold shift. You're going to composition, uh, trim comp to work area. All right, boom. You got this guy right here. So it doesn't go very far, but I'm not trying to make a super intricate scene right here. So you're going to go to tracker on the right side, this panel. Tracker, you're going to make sure this clip is selected, and you're going to click track camera. All right. So once you do that, what you want to do is you want to go advance and make sure you do detailed analysis, okay? And that'll track this, and we'll be back after it's done tracking. All right, so now that we have the scene motion tracked, as you can see, there's all these points. Before you select any of those points, you need to right-click the scene in the composition. You're going to do pre-compose. Um, move all attributes into the new composition so it'll bring this 3d track camera tracker over uh, I just I don't like bother this you can name it though like 3d scene um, and then you're gonna double click this click on bridge and you're like where's the points what you gotta do is you gotta click on 3d camera tracker and all the points show up so you wanna look for all the green points like the most green points in your scene um, I like kind of like these down here because it'll create that like flat uh, scene or like it's on that flat for the uh, text so what you're gonna do is you're gonna select like the group so all I do is right click I mean left click hold circle and it creates that target you're gonna right click create a null and camera alright boom so that's done now you can go new solid Alright, I'm just going to name this 3D text. Okay, and you're like, oh, wait, wh what did you just do? You just ruined it. No, just wait. It's going to go new, text, and this is what you're going to want it to say. So this is for a uh, Teams RC vid. Uh, they're called Sonics, so they want it to say Sonics Presents. Alright, so I'm just going to fix this up because it looks like doo-doo. Uh, just going to make the text a little bit bigger, change the font. font that I always so use is either paragraph, Space center. Ranger. And then what I like to do is, so I like the team's name to be like a little bit more prevalent. So I'll make this a little bit smaller. And then I'm just going to bring, uh, where is it? And then bring it up a little bit so it's a little bit closer. All right. So that's our text. Um, now we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to take that, drag it to the bottom, and hide it. Now with the 3D text, all you're going to do is you're going to right click, go to Effect, Video Copilot, and Element. So we are using Element 3D for this. It is a plugin. It is super easy to get. Go on YouTube and just search Element 3D for After Effects. Uh, so a couple things in order to get my text. Well first, uh, this is part one. So I'm just going to show you how to 3D motion track. Alright, so uh, all you're going to do is you're going to come to custom layers, custom text and mask, and then you're going to click on 3D, or no, 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 excuse me. 
then you're going to click on Sonics Presents. All right. And you're like, oh, wait, nothing happened. You got to go to Scene Setup. All right. This is going to pop up and click Extrude. And then here you go. This is the 3D text. All right. And then you go back. And you see how it's a little far away. I don't want it to be that far away. I want it to be closer. So you're going to go select the group, uh, particle replicator, and then adjust the Z for that bad boy right there. Okay, so I'm going to come like that. All right, now it's still far away. Keep going negative to bring it forward. I'm going to bring it, oh, I did not want to do that. I want to keep it centered. Adjust the Y axis, bring it down a little bit. Um, and then you're going to go to particle look, particle size, increase that bad boy. And then just play around with the settings until it's at something you like, you know. Um, I don't know why it's so bad right now. But yeah, some, so you'll have something like that. It looks pretty darn, damn good, alright. Uh, I'm going to move it back a little bit and just make it bigger. Um, where is it? Oh, particle look, turn the particle size up so that it's far away. Come on, play. But yeah, so I'll mess around with like the placement and everything. So when the camera goes through, I'll probably just move this up a little bit um, to make it go like through the words. So it's like, you see how it clips right there? You don't want that. You want to make it clean. Boom, goes through right there. So Sonics Presents. Doesn't look too shabby. All right, that concludes part one of the tutorial. This is just how to get the text actually in motion track. Part two is going to be getting all the texts and uh, textures and layers and making this look pretty so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for part two okay so I know that this first part of the tutorial isn't essentially what you guys came for now if this vid can get 50 likes and I'll leave it at like 30 comments or something like that but 50 likes I will upload the part two ASAP and the part two is how I get that actually sexy holographic thing that you saw at the beginning now if I can get 50 likes on this video I know you guys can do it I will release that video literally tomorrow now just leave that thumbs up uh, subscribe and comment all supports appreciated and I'll see you guys in part two peace